Packbot is back here on Tragic MTG, and he has declared that it is time for random booster packs, and he is not to be trifled with. So here we go. Packbot 3000 to dispense Magic the Gathering packs in a random fashion. Here we go, starting with Zendikar Rising. Let's go, and as always, I will be scanning up the good cards out of each pack and seeing how much they are worth. Thanks for watching, everybody. Here we go. We got a copy token and a full art mountain and a very nice rare to start off with. We got a, a uh, borderless clear water pathway, um, dual modal face card with a murk water pathway on the back. So, very cool pack of Zendikar Rising. Let's scan it up. It's 564 for a borderless. Off to a great start here. Thank you very much, Packbot. And uh, we'll go through the rest of these. Mine Carver, Vastwood Surge, Lowell Mages Familiar. I like that card. Never seen that one. At least I never paid attention to it. Blood Price and some commons. We'll go through those. Quickly, there's a Legac. And that's going to probably do it. So there we go. All right, next up in the random packs, we've got a pack of Unstable. The Monkey um, was dismayed to find out that the new unset was going to be delayed till the end of the year. I don't know if you guys have heard about that. I was really looking forward to that. It's crazy nonsense. Make some more spider monkey scientists, right? Looks like a Ragavan. He's so uh, scientific, he's going to get banned there. Anyway, Feisty Stegosaurus. Got a secret base. Kindly Cognition. I got a, a foil of some kind coming up. Probably don't want to spoil it. Cognition, first pick, Spy Eye, and a rare Serpentine Worm. Whenever land enters the battlefield under control, you can augment it to um, be connected to something else. And then we've got a Full Art Swamp. That's very nice. The Serpentine cannot even be seen. So I'm messing with my the lighting on my uh, setup here. Let's see if I can turn that on and... It can't even be scanned, so we'll try that one in a second here. The Swamp, though, let's see if it likes that. There, I like that. The Unstable Swamp is 414. And we got a Foil Jack Knight. It is rare. There we go. It sees it. Um, it did not like that Serpentine, though. Let's see. This is actually a buck. And the Serpentine Worm, I will throw it in there and see what happens. Serp in teen. Oh my gosh, we got all kinds of, let me find a little bit more serpentine from Unstable Bank. It's under 90 some cents, so 43 cents. There it is, Optical Optimizer, a Inflation Station, and a Foil Elemental token. That's the token from Voice of Resurgence, so that might be actually kind of halfway decent. So, sees it as the Modern Masters, and it will not let me switch it to Unstable, so... We're just going to pass on that, but I think that's a good hit. We're going we're gonna to pull that one. Anyway, next up we've got, oops, we get two. Ikoria. More beasties to get out of this. Getting the hang of these side opener packs, too. The Human Soldier. A Forest. And Ruinous Ultimatum for a bunch of mana. You can destroy all non-land permanents your opponents control. That would be a problem for them if you did that to them. Ominous Seas. Sprite Dragon. I actually found out recently that's a good uncommon. It's actually a buck. And an auspicious Starix. And some common Ikoria stuff. Get the flavor of the plane. Do you think we'll be back on Ikoria at some point? I imagine so. I like that plane. Conspiracy is up next. Take the crown. And the old style pack. Driver of the Dead, Speaker, Goblin, Unnerve, Fang of the Pack, Merfolk Looter, Manaplasm, and Splitting Slime. That's two oozes in a rose right there. And then I got a Foil, Menagerie Liberator. The Slime, it's just a little bit 59 cents. Very nice foiling on that. Nothing too crazy though. Hold the Perimeter and a Dragon Token. That's that. All right, next up, Pocky Eventide. 
going way back. So I told you these were random kind of chaos packs here. Got a Shore Crasher Mimic, Edge of Divinity. So this is a pretty good common. Let's see if it still holds any value. Not really, but I'm going to pull it. Hoof Skulkin. Unmake, another good common, but it's been printed a few times. Yeah, that's that's almost up there. Wicker Bow Elder, Duragar Assailant, Antler Skulkin. Ah, you never know about some of these Scarecrows. Let me just check. No, nope, not that one. Odious Trow, Inside Out, Aguilian, Kelpie. There's a rules tip on the untap symbol. You haven't seen that since this set for the most part. Spite Mare, pretty good uncommon. Um, it has somewhat of a sort of unique effect. There's a couple cards that do what it does. Invert the Skies, Noggle Hedge Maze, and the rare is a Waves of Aggression. What does this do? For three and either red or white, untap all creatures that attack this turn. After this main phase, there's an additional combat phase followed by an additional main phase. And then you can retrace this again. So I'll bet this sees a little bit of play. Woo! I was right. That's pretty good, right? So let me get a sleeve for it. Waves of aggression. Yeah, so any there's plenty of cards out there that want to try to make another combat phase and this would fit right into that kind of a deck so there you go cold snap the fact that you can use it again makes it even better cold snap we got a task mage and a snow covered mountain we'll scan that it's a buck something chill to the bone the rhyme runner surging might Lid Shackles, Simeon Brawler, Martyr of Spores, Kapluzin Wolverine, Feast of Flesh, Kravikin Mist, the Keldoran Gargoyle, it was an uncommon Balduvian Frostwalker, Rhyme Transfusion, and the rare Vexing Sphinx. It's flying with a cumulative upkeep of discarding a card. Ouch. When it's put into the graveyard from play, draw a card for each age counter on it. Okay, so you pay for drawing a bunch of cards down the road a little bit, but um, that one's probably not a big one. All right, next up, pack a guild packed. All over the place, these packs. Who would have guessed? There is a gruel turf. Common lands, like a dual. Well, it gives you two mana if you can deal with it. This has been reprinted enough. Yeah, a lot, actually. Um, if it had never been reprinted, do you think it would be worth anything? I mean, it's a, it's a pretty decent little card. Torch Drake, Thrall, Dowsing Gloom, and Is It Signet? So these usually do a little bit. Yeah, there we go. It's a buck. A Cronarch, Tin Street Hooligan. Giga Drowse. The Ledge Walker was worth a little bit at one point. That's eh, pretty decent for a common. Let's see. Guild Pack, 71 cents. It's okay. Restless Bones. We got a Skiz Motivate. Harrier Griffin. Vettelkin Plotter. And the rare, Rumbling Slum. The beginning of your upkeep, Rumbling Slum deals one damage to each player. It's a 5 5 for 4. That's used to be really good right and uh, not so much anymore so two more packs we got pack of Shadowmore we went to Eventide now we're in Shadowmore like one of my favorite packs to open some really good possibilities out of here gravel guild duo room serving rider Scuzzback Marauders. I like the goblins on this plane. Power of Fire. Disturbing Plot. Parapet Watchers. Barrington Medic. Memory Sluice. Hmm, I'm going to check this one. It's a mill card. It's pretty decent for a common, right? Poison the Well. Foxfire Oak. Pilipala. And Pili Pilipala? And it's got the... It's an untapped Scarecrow. This is the one I'm going to... to to scan thinking it might be worth a little bit. It is. I was right. 
Got a thought with Gambit. Advice from the Fae. If I miss anything down below, let me know. Leech Ridden Swamp. I will scan this one. And a Thought Reflection. That's yeah, pretty good. If the original is close to that, yeah. Thought Reflection and a Tip Card. So the Thought Reflection has been printed a few times, I think. So it's a buck. There we go. So last pack here. Corset 2020. Comment down below. Like and subscribe. Post this video all over the internet. Do what you want. Negate. Bird Grabber. Chaplain. Soul Salvage. Cloud Seer. I like M20. I, I think this is my favorite of the three core sets that came out between 19 and 21, right? Just saying. Zephyr Charge. Disfigure. Gauntlets of Light. There's a combo to be had with that. Risen Reef. A card that I just bought four of. Now I have another one. And... Chandra Acolyte of Flame. The Risen Reef is actually a buck ninety-seven. Whoops. Chandra is a buck. That's a keeper for me as well. And an elemental token. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Tragic MTG and Packbot say see you later.